Typically, when you receive an email from a client or an art director, you'll get what's called a creative brief. They may not refer to it as a creative brief, and that doesn't really matter. What matters is that you get a paragraph at least of information about the job. For example, a brief description of the job, what it is they'd like you to illustrate, when it's due, any other important specifications about the job. For example, it needs to be delivered in vector form as opposed to Photoshop file, maybe information about why they chose you for the job and why they think you're a good fit, and lots of other interesting minutia. When you receive the creative brief, before you respond to the email from the editor or art director, you wanna ask yourself the following questions. Can I execute this job within my skill set based on the information that I've been given? Does this job sound interesting to me? You don't wanna take a job, especially a lengthy job, that doesn't sound like it will be a lot of fun. Do I have time in my schedule to meet the deadline? This is really, really important. And lastly, am I comfortable with the fee? Well, it's important as an illustrator to push yourself out of your comfort zone and accept challenging jobs. You never want to accept a job that isn't in your skill set. In other words, if you don't have the technical or artistic skill to execute a job, you never want to take it because they're counting on you to actually make the work and complete the deadline. This is a particularly important one for long-term jobs. Remember, illustration is really fun, but it's a job and it's a lot of hard work. And you want to take work that sounds interesting to you and doesn't sound dreadful or boring. Meeting deadlines is really, really important in the world of illustration. Most of what you're doing is attached to another larger timeline from the publisher or the company that you're working for. So your ability to make the art and the amount of time that they're suggesting is really, really important. Once you read the creative brief and ask yourself those questions, you wanna figure out what of these questions are answered already and which do I need to ask for more information on. And then you're going to compose an email to the art director that is polite and professional and prompt, and by prompt I mean responded to within 24 hours, that lays out all of the questions you have about the assignment. I'd also suggest that if you're interested in taking the job, you make that clear in your initial response. Sometimes, and actually oftentimes, you'll receive a creative brief from an editor or an art director, and it won't have all the information you need. And one important thing to remember is that creative directors and editors are usually really busy people juggling many projects at once. And so their creative brief doesn't have the information that you need, not because they're inept or lazy, but because they're just really busy people and they don't have time to get into the details of a project initially. Know that they will really appreciate your questions and your inquisitiveness about the project. Let's talk for a second about what makes a professional email. You always want to have a positive tone in your email and you wanna start with a salutation. So the email should be Formal, but friendly for sure. And by salutation, I mean, dear so-and-so or hello so-and-so. Um, I always start off by thanking the person for emailing me and for their interest in my work. And that goes regardless of whether or not I think I'm gonna take the job or not. You always wanna express gratitude and enthusiasm because it's more likely that that person will hire you again when you are available or when it is the right job for you if you've expressed a good amount of interest initially. I would also proofread your email several times for typos and sentence structure and grammar. When you're composing your list of questions for the art director, make sure that they are expressed in a way that is, I don't know, for lack of a better word, deferential. So you wanna treat the art director with a lot of respect and as the person who has more experience and knowledge than you. And so the tone of your email and of your question should reflect that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.